Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Grand Photo 5 Mods video. Today we're going to be playing as firefighters with the Polito Bay Fire Department and we're going to respond with the whole house today guys. We're going to use tanker number 2, we're going to use engine 3 and tower ladder 4 for this call because a train has derailed and crashed into a barn. So it's going to be a crazy hazmat call so we're going to respond with all of the pieces of apparatus that we have to try to save the day all right let's go a train has derailed rescue squad is needed respond code three one victim is left to be found all right guys we are responding with the full house All right, engine three, tower ladder four, as well as tanker two. We are all arriving on scene. Looks like we have EMS. They are working on a couple of people over there. Okay, we're gonna be on scene. We have multiple tankers, which are currently on fire. Let's report to the chief and see what he wants us to do. Oh, look at that. Oh, the, 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 I don't even know what to say. The locomotive just went sideways and straight into the barn. That looks crazy. Wow, okay. Where's the chief at? Chief's over here. What's up, chief? We are here. What do you not need us to do? He says the tanker caused a fire that is out of control in the nearby field. There are some workers at the time of the accident that was on the field. It's unknown if there are any injuries. You are tasked with getting the brush fire under control. If you put out the fire, lend a hand with the injured. And yep, you got it, Chief. All right, so first thing we got to do is get the fire out. Second thing we have to do is get the person out of that tanker or out of that uh, locomotive. And third thing we got to do is stop the fuel from leaking. So this is going to be very crazy. So let's establish water supply. Let's get the tanker ready. All right, we're going to be getting tower ladder four into position. We have the tanker ready with the drop tank. And engine three has water spraying from the deck gun. All right, we have the tower ladder set up in position. We are going to start running our lines now. So first thing I'm gonna do is grab a supply line and we're gonna connect that to the tanker. All right, we now have water flowing from the drop tank and we can now spray water from our tower loader. All right, we should be able to get a good high point up here to be able to knock out a majority of the fire. to knock down a majority of the fire with the tower ladder i'm going to move in with a hand line now to try to knock out the rest of the fire So it seems like most of this field just caught on fire from the train. That field that was in those tankers.
All right, all visible fire has been knocked down. Let's report back to the chief and see if he needs help uh, cutting the conductor out of the train. We have the main body of fire knocked down. Let's talk to the chief and see what he wants us to work on now. We may have to help out with that locomotive that is currently in the barn. Hey chief, ladder four, we are done with the fire. Okay, we're gonna work on cutting out the worker that is currently stuck inside of the barn. We're gonna need some of our cutting equipment. For this job, we are going to go with the saw. All right, so now we're gonna work on getting everybody out of this situation. Dang it, it was a farmer in here too. Okay, so I should be able to just get the farmer out. Okay, we got the farmer. He should be okay. I'll get him transferred to EMS. All right, hopefully he will be okay. Now there's a report that somebody may be trapped underneath all of that rubble. So I'm gonna start cutting and see if I could free whoever's underneath this. Let's start over on this side. Okay, so we're gonna use the saw to try to cut through some of this rubble. Oh, 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 oh. You know, I was thinking I should probably secure that so that it doesn't fall on us with some stabilizer strips. Okay, so we got that out. Let's work on this side. Okay, I'm having trouble getting a good angle, but we are somewhat cutting this. Yep, got it. There we go. Okay, so we freed all of the rubble. Nobody's in here besides the tractor driver. So let me get to the other side and see if anybody's under the rubble on that side. Okay, so I'm gonna try to stabilize this locomotive with a bunch of uh, stabilizer struts here. So we're just gonna put them down. Okay, so we have the stabilizer struts down now. Oh. Ooh. Oh no. He's not looking too good. Okay, let's try to free them now. There we go. Okay, looks like we got most of it done. Unfortunately, we do have one DOA. Someone just got completely destroyed over on that side. All right, we cut away all the rubble. So it looks like, unfortunately, we did have one DOA there. Somebody is just completely unrecognizable at this point they had no chance unfortunately and that's gonna do it for today's episode guys thank you so much for watching this one i really do hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you go ahead and smash that like button leave some comments down below subscribe if you are new also hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new video don't forget check out my website acepilot2k7.com link down below in the video description where you guys can find all of the mods i use as well as tutorials to install them and a bunch of other bonus content as well but thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.